Friends, I wanted to share this song with you. It's a song about my dad that I wrote about, um, about 10 years after I lost him in a car accident. And my father was a wonderful Christian man, and I'm so blessed to, to have had him as my father. And he was from an era where uh, men just didn't show a lot of outward affection, didn't, didn't praise their kids very much, and actually speak the words. In fact, when he was my baseball coach, he was harder on me than he was anybody else. <laughs> But I loved him so much. In fact, I thought he was God in the, in the best sense of that word. Loved him and really respected him. And just needed to hear him say something that he couldn't say. I heard somebody say one time that all boys, all men have a father wound. Well, that was my father wound. Although he was a good man and a good father, he couldn't say this. Son, I'm proud of you. Uh, after he died in that car accident, maybe a few years later, I had a dream. And I can't really explain it other than this. My dad was in the dream and he talked to me. But somehow in the dream I knew it was God talking to me. And he said, I'm proud of you. Well, for me that dream meant my heavenly father who lives up above came down to me, poured out his love. And now I live a different way. Through faith and hope and grace, now I am no longer haunted by the thing my daddy couldn't say. My dad would be the first to say he liked most things done his own way. I was his son, that's what I tried to do. He taught me how to hold a bat, to ride a horse and fix a flat, a thousand other things that helped me through. He'd say, work hard at everything you do. But I never one time heard him say, son, I'm proud of you. I love to hear him sing and hear him laugh. Tell me stories from the past. Most of all, I love to hear him pray. But as the years began to fly, I was a young boy haunted by the thing my daddy couldn't say. One time I shot my sister just for fun in the butt with a BB gun. I was glad my dad was not around but he spanked me later and he said first this will hurt you bad but it'll hurt me worse I don't know for about a week I couldn't sit down he'd say work hard at everything you do but I never one time heard him say son I'm proud of you so I made a vow to do my best on a football field or history test. Giving up would never be my way. Everything was do or die. I was a young man haunted by the thing my daddy couldn't say. and how I cried when I got the news that my dad had died miss him every day after all these years one night I had a dream and it was odd dad came back with the voice of God spoke these words to me through his tears don't work so hard at everything you do then he put his arms around me and said, Son, I'm proud of you. My father who lives up above came down to me, poured out his love. Now I live a different way. Through faith and hope and grace now I 
am no longer haunted by the fame. My daddy couldn't save 